Welcome back to Use Night Monstrum Nox. Also, the fuck? I swore I swore I was supposed to give this to Parks, but it turns out it's for free though. Ah. Why? What? Dear, anything catch your eye? Come back, go get him out there, darling. Adol, any errands you'd like me to run? Are you sure? What would you like me to do? Are you call for me whenever you like? Oh wait, I have all the graffiti. Right then, tell me what you know. Seems like you're making good headway. Here's your reward. Yeah! How's it going? Always a pleasure. Done already? Come back soon. Off we go. Wait. Wrong direction. Did you bring me 
Wow! For your t Ring! Okay. Oh, and the cuts. Is that you, my dear goddess? Come, Lily. You've made me for your trouble. Did you bring me? Wow! For your troubles. Cure all of them. Another cut. Proliferation of enmity will never cease. There's just something so scrumptious about the combination. You've made me one happy girl. I've just got to thank you. Apocrypha. Precepts. Precepts. And with that, we have all Azure Petals done. Meaning I no longer have to wander around the city searching. Instead, now I have to wander around the city each chapter looking for NPCs to talk to to see if they're hiding any quests. The Let's start with the basement first before I forget to talk to Tito again. was on Aprilis, so I was right. Aprilis... Okay, she might not be St. Ross Vita. There's still the possibility of her just being one of St. Ross Vita's allies from the Hundred Years War. But that's kind of doubtful. All the graffitis I've read infer that the six monstrums were her deepest allies, which most likely means that Aprilis is St. And 
What a Chatelot's uh, role getting Who knows, maybe he's the original Swordmaster. I'm assuming that uh, Shatterdard is supposed to be called the Raw. Jean's most staunch supporter and also most deranged, Mr. Bluebeard. A few minutes later. Adel! Charm is now prepared. You should return to Ap Aprilis before you forget. Yeah, I'm ready and raring to go. You deal with the power of the same satellites. Preserves, preserves books up for using an extra skill. I inherit your name. One half extra skill cost. What do you think? Let me know if you can come back anytime. Oh yeah, I need to talk to Shantae and cook that apple pie. Oh, the suspense is killing me. My secret ingredient is love. Come back now. Go get him out there, darling. Oh, to the cathedral then. Embodies all of creation, protects against all elements, and raises strength and defense by 15. The ruined belfry. At least I'm pretty sure that's how you're supposed to pronounce it. Belfry, not Belfry. I remember as a kid I used to pronounce that word Belfry. You give the prepared feather charm to Aprilis. So it is important to you then. Yes. <laughs> A prince support skills. Dance macabre, hermit esoterica, and evil wind has reached it. Yeah.
And now... Ah. Oh. Oh yeah. The thief's treasure. Might as well. Digging at the ground by the wall between some gold coins and tattered scrap of paper. There seems to be something written on you. Whether your deeds are wicked or pure, every achievement starts with a single step. After that, it's up to you to keep walking. I leave those words in the hands of whoever's managed to outfit this steaming old fox. It ain't much sure, but the legacy's worth more than its weight in gold. Weight, weight in gold. I weight the gold, apparently. So I went the wrong direction. Um, um, um. to happen. Yeah, off we go. Visiting the no waters and to advance the storm, it is recommended that you prepare your equipment before hunt. Oh, what am I thinking? Of course he's not here. Huh? Oh, I beg your pardon, sweetie. Who did you say you were again? We're here to see if Jules is home. Oh my! Are you friends of Jules? I'm Jules' mother, Pamela. It's a pleasure to meet any friend of Jules. Please, do come in! Oh, actually, we were... Oh, I insist. You really must come inside. I will not allow any of Jules' friends to stand outside like strangers. Well, you heard the lady. Jules, your friends are here! My friends? Oh, it's you. Imagine my delight when I met all of your wonderful friends! Don't mind me. I'll just be over here preparing a pot of tea. Uh, oh, you don't have to, ma'am! Don't bother. Why is that? She's always like this with guests. There's no talking her out of it. Yeah! Hearing the voice, Renegade and Jules sound exactly alike. So unless they just happen to have the voice, uh, the same voice actor by pure coincidence, I highly doubt that. I'd appreciate it if you'd humor her by sticking around for a while. Sure, we don't mind. Why not? Might as well. Thanks. So what did you want to see me for? You hand Jules the notebook he dropped. My notebook? 
You came just to give this to me? Sorry for the trouble. But I guess we're even since you peeked inside. It wasn't me. Well, someone must have. I had a small slip of paper in it so I could tell if it was open. And it seems to be missing. <sighs> and it looks like the answer to the mystery is written on her face. Uh, that's a pretty nifty trick. For a kid, maybe. You had good intentions, so I'll let you off the hook this time. I can't hold it in anymore! Tell me, Jules. What? You're the renegade, aren't you? Wait, what? I suspected he was too. Hmm. And what makes you think that? How about the fact that you sound exactly alike? I thought I recognized your voice from somewhere. I'm surprised. They actually are picking up. They're not being dense. And how many boys your age speak the way you do? It wasn't my intention to mislead. Not like what the white cat was doing. I'm surprised. And I'm certainly not going as far as hiding my real identity like the Crimson King. You're not exactly a wanted fugitive just because you're an adventurer, though. A swift confession. <sighs> Maybe I should have thought twice about speaking to you at the Cultural Heritage Site. I knew you'd all find out eventually, but it's not any less troublesome. Oh, really now? You haven't seen troublesome till I've asked you all my questions. Hope you're ready. First question. What's that wheelchair for? You fuck. You fuck. Isn't it obvious? Because you can't walk. This? I was never able to stand on my legs. Really? Uh, no kidding. Is it really that much of a shock? It's kind of obvious. He said never, so I'm assuming that means he was born with uh, with uh, deficiencies in the leg, so I'm gonna say, are you healed? Hmm, something like that. I've had a weak constitution ever since I was young. And again, there's also a possibility that part of his heart is weak, and it's not his legs. Regardless... I'm sure this is going to be your next question, so I'll just answer it for you. Nobody knows what my disease is. They said it was incurable. Even the top doctors in Balduke gave up on finding a cure. As time goes on, my body gets weaker. I'm told I'll be lucky to live to 20. Are you serious? Unfortunately, joking isn't one of my strong suits. All I know is that when I become the Renegade, I can move my body again. I have a Prillis to thank for that. Uh, I'm sorry. I had no idea you were going through something so terrible. If you don't mind, I have a request for you all. I don't want you to feel sorry for me. Just treat me like you treat anybody else. I'm tired of people walking on eggshells around me just because I'm sick. Yeah, yeah, I can understand that. Hmm, I don't blame you. Uh, uh... But don't get me wrong. I assure you that it's not like I've abandoned my will to live. Well, that confirms what uh, that confirms what I said last time. It was a bucket list, cause he expects to depart the mortal coil any time without them even expect uh, what you call it without any expectation dates. Expectation dates? No, that's the wrong term. The, uh, let me rephrase myself. Because he knows he could depart the mortal coil any time, despite his uh, dislike of uh, disappearing from the mortal coil. But after being frustrated with my body for so long, I've accepted it. Accepted what? Accepted that at my age, every breath could be my last. Now that is... That is tough. And that I should live and die in my own body 
on my own terms. To that end, I wish to leave this world without any regrets. That's all there is to it. Jules! Then that nails in the coffin notebook we found. That's right. It's my bucket list. The name was to remind myself that I need to finish it before I go six under. Oh, come on! I want to do everything I can to help. I'm sure you do. But I have to respectfully decline. Yeah, I thought you would. Otherwise, I'd just be using my disease as an excuse to get people to do things for me. I'd like to do it on my own. So you can just leave me be. Ouch! If that's what you want. We'll just do what we always do. That's right! The Crimson King has an insatiable need to do good deeds. He's got his sights set on helping you, so you're just going to have to suck it up. Are you trying to make me out to be the Crimson... Crimson Charity Worker instead of the Crimson King? Oh, so now you're threatening an invalid. <laughs> well, all I ask is that you don't give me any help that I don't request. By the way, that ghost at the cultural heritage site you've been looking for? That's me. Yeah, I kind of figured. You were the ghost? More and more people have been desecrating those ruins lately. So I used my gift to scare them off. That official claimed she was investigating, but she was only adding to the damage. I have a hunch she learned her lesson. They're gonna blow it. Smirnov Noah, huh? I'm pretty sure he's at the prison. Why am I not surprised? There's not some over obsc some obscenely over leveled boss this time. Jules, we've just gotta act normal, okay? Hey. Yes. Do you think the barrier at the gate will disappear once the full moon Grimwald is over? I'm assuming once we win against it is when the battle will disappear. Who knows? Maybe it will, but maybe it won't. Okay, that is just really awkward, and this is coming from me. It won't be easy, but as long as we act normal, we can get through this together. You can't see it, but I'm face palming. Also, kudos to the voice actors and voice actresses. They're doing a really good, marvelous job. Huh? Uh, sure. What are those goofballs doing? It appears they are overcompensating. What a mess. Alright, Adol. Now that the tension's been broken, let's get on with this. Monstrums. The time is nigh. Under the red moons, the wicked and the defiant shall be punished. Ascend into this unbreaking night. Unsheath your curse and smite the darkness.
the full moon's loom. You would do well to prepare yourselves. Leave it to me. Allow me. with the final attack for the next. Get your crap together, guys. Yeah. 
Managed to keep this up. Luminescent fluid. Mythic Sandra. I was getting worried there. This time, almond shape. 
Oh, a spirit elixir. Yes. Goblin tribe shield. Better remedy and drain. Dawn stone. Crimson spa. Sword of the spa. <laughs> the full moon Grimwald really has a kick to it, huh? The battles are rather arduous. I feel a crick in my joints. There we are. <laughs> I may require recalibrations later. Are the Rhine dolls the ones who help you with that? Yes, while I am in my doll form. But Rodario only repairs me when Melissa is absent. <laughs> He's probably afraid Mrs. Reindel will tease him about it. Perhaps. But he is a skillful craftsman and treats me with great care. I'd prefer not to be any more of a burden to them than I already am. Krusha! What? Calm yourself. It's nothing. But your arm! I can always change it with another. Are you hurt? No, I'm okay. It was my fault. I should have sensed it coming. As long as you're both alright. Hmm? Now that the full moon Grimwald has passed, the curse should have been altered. Last time, the barrier at the west gate opened, allowing us to leave the city walls. I wouldn't mind if we could go even farther this time. You can say that again. Let's take a look when we get back to town. By quelling this full moon Grimwald, adult support skill, Crimson Fury has reached max level. Sure, you should be here, Jules. Can your wheelchair handle going outside of the castle? Can't move for sure from now.
heading for those small sweets. Can we come with? Honestly, you think they come up with a better nickname for him by now? Like seriously, he's been called Adol of the Adol of Red for the longest time for whatever reason. Or Adol Darren. You think they come up with a better nickname after so many <laughs> iterations? Or should I say, in terms of the lore, after he traveled through so many countries? At least we have the same goal for now. Disguising yourself as a monster in disguise. Let's see. Hmm. How are you decently high level? Dive into the shadows thing to move around. Enemy damage is negated while diving. Enemies above you are drained of their HP. Press square to quickly jump in the tank. Wait a second. So that's what so that's what these are for. Understood. I'll switch. Leave it to me. Switch. Diving in. What? Shadow dive. Oh, come on. Monsters really do exist. Try this. Shadow dive. Treasure oh, chest. There 
I remember finding a... There it is! Hunter's Descent! Shadow Dive. How is this? An underground armaments factory? Diving in. Diving in. Shadow dive. Dive. A treasure chest. I wonder what would happen. <laughs> You're not going to bother checking the chest. Shadow Dive. A treasure chest. A bash Contains a technique of an ancient hero. Read it to teach raging force. 
Raging Bull learned to snatch you. Treasure chest. search for it uh, off screen so before I get too engrossed with searching for these treasure chests and very much wasting your time my dear viewers uh, what you call this like comment subscribe I sincerely hope you enjoyed the content or found it helpful either way so ending on that note I bid you all fun bye